Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at moles and solutions. We'll be looking at concentration and how you calculate concentration, uh, moving from decimeters to centimeters cubed and back again. Uh, and also we'll apply this to some problems, uh, so hopefully that'll give you the heads up that you're going to need. Okay, so firstly starting off, uh, solution concentrations. Now these can be expressed in two different ways. You can be given grams per decimeter cubed, or moles per decimeter cubed. Now to find the concentration in terms of grams per decimeter cubed, you do the mass divided by the volume. But more commonly, the concentration was given in moles per decimeter cubed, the concentration is the number of moles divided by the volume. And this triangle here makes life a lot more easier because if you go to this one and you need to find the number of moles, you're gonna to have to do a bit of a conversion with the molar mass here. Now, Annoyingly, lots of problems, uh, they come in centimetres cubed. You'll be given a, a, the volume of a solution in centimetres cubed, but for our equations, centimetres cubed is no good. We're going to need decimetres cubed over here. So to go from centimetres cubed to decimetres cubed, you divide by a thousand, and we'll see examples of this uh, shortly when we go through some problems. If you do need to go back though, if you've got an answer in decimeter cubed and you need to take it back to centimeters cubed, well you just times by a thousand. So just be aware of uh, volume conversions here. Okay, so what I've drawn here is a battle plan of how we're gonna solve some solutions problems. So firstly, we're probably gonna be given the volume of a solution and also the concentration, but be wary, the volume is probably going to be in centimeters cubed and we're gonna to need to convert so using concentration and volume, we're going to end up finding out the number of moles. But well, then, once we've found the number of moles, we're going to look at the ratio uh, in our chemical equation to work out how many moles we've got over here. Then either, if we're asked to find a volume, we'll do the moles divided by the concentration. Or if we're asked to find a mass, we'll do moles times the molar mass and we'll find out the value of our mass. Okay, let's start off. What mass of magnesium reacts with 100 centimeters cubed of 2.0 moles per decimeter cubed hydrochloric acid? Okay, so firstly, we're gonna be looking for mass at the very end. They've given us a volume, but of course, it's in centimeters cubed. So dividing by 1,000, we've got 0 0.1 decimeters cubed. We've got our concentration here, and it is in moles per decimeter cubed. Okay, so let's start off. So we've got our, con uh, our volume, which is 0 0.1 decimeters cubed. And then by multiplying by the concentration, which is two, uh, we're gonna find out the number of moles. So we've got 0 0.2 moles uh, of hydrochloric acid. Now here, what's our ratio? It's a two to one. So if we've got two over here, we're gonna have one over here. So what we need to do is 0 0.2 times by one divided by two, which is gonna give us 0 0.1. So we've got 0 0.1 moles over here. Okay, next up, we're looking for mass. So we need to uh, uh, times the number of moles by the molar mass of uh, magnesium. Now uh, we've got 0 0.1 and on the periodic table, magnesium is 24. So 0 0.1 times by 24 is 2.4, and that's gonna give us a mass of 2.4 grams of magnesium, and that is our final answer. Okay, here we go again. What mass, okay, so after a mass of calcium carbonate reacts with four decimeter cubed of 1.5 moles per decimeter uh, cubed hydrochloric acid? So again, we're gonna start off with volume and our volume is uh, four. Remember this time, we don't need to convert, they've given us it already. So four, and then how many moles are we gonna have? So four times by 1.5 is six moles. Now have a look at the ratio. We're talking about hydrochloric acid and calcium carbonate, so it's a two to one ratio. And this is what we're looking for. Uh, so it's uh, two to one over here. So we've got six moles, so six times by one divided by two is three moles. 
And then finally, we want to find out the mass. Now, uh, calcium, let me just look at my periodic table, uh, is 40. So calcium is 40 uh, plus uh, 12 for carbon. And then we've got brackets 3 times 16. Uh, and we get a molar mass of 100. So one mole is 100 grams, but we've got three. So three times 100 uh, gives us 300 grams. And that there, that's our final answer. Okay, what volume of 0.1 moles per decimeter cube sulfuric acid reacts with one gram of zinc powder? It's a slightly different problem this time. This time uh, we're dealing with a mass to begin with, but it's not a problem we can still convert to moles. So we've got our mass is one gram, and we want to know is, well, how many moles of zinc have we got? Uh, well, the molar mass of zinc is 65, so one divided by uh, 65 is going to tell us the number of moles. One divided by 65, and I get, well, let, let me just write one over 65 here. Now let's look at the ratio, well it's a one to one ratio, uh, so that makes life easy. So we're going to go one over 65 moles of uh, uh, sulfuric acid. And the last part we want to find out the volume. Okay, so we need to do one over 65 divided by the, uh, the uh, concentration which is 0 0.1. Uh, and we get uh, 0 0.153 decimeter cubed. And if I times that by a thousand, I get 153.8 centimeters cubed. And that is our final answer. Okay, next up, what volume of 0 0.1 moles per decimeter cubed of sulfuric acid reacts with 30 centimeters cubed of 0 0.15 moles per decimeter cubed uh, sodium hydroxide. So we're given a volume but it's in centimeters cubed so 30 divided by a thousand uh, gives us uh, 0 0.03 decimeters cubed. Uh, now how... Uh, so we've got our uh, volume 0 0.03 uh, and if we multiply by our uh, concentration, uh, we are going to get how many moles we've got, so 0 0.03 times by 0 0.15 and we get uh, 0 0.0045 moles. Okay next up let's have a look at the ratio and the ratio is 2 to 1, so here we've got 2 to 1, so 0 0.0045 Zero zero four five uh, times by one divided by two, and we get zero point zero zero two five five moles. Then, lastly, we want to work out the volume, so uh, we're going to divide by zero point one here. So zero point zero zero two five five divided by 0 0.1 and we get an answer of 0 0.0255 now that's decimeters cubed if we want to convert to centimeters cubed times that value by a thousand and we get an answer of 25.5 uh, centimeters cubed that's our final answer okay last one what mass okay, of sodium hydrogen carbonate, which is here, is needed to neutralize 50 uh, centimeters cubed of 0 0.75 moles per decimeter cubed sulfuric acid? Well, again, they've given us centimeters cubed, so we need to convert to uh, decimeters cubed by dividing by a thousand. So we get 0 0.05 uh, decimeters cubed. So let's start off here. So we've got 0 0.05 decimeters cubed. How many moles do we have? Okay, well, the concentration is 0 0.75. So times this by 0 0.75. And we get an answer of 0 0.0375 uh, 
uh, moles. Then we're going to go across to, okay, let's have a look at our ratio. So we're looking at uh, a ratio of 1 to 2, but we started off with the sulfuric acid, so we've got a 1 here and a 2 here. So we're going to do 0 0.0375 uh, times by 2 divided by 1. And we find that we've got uh, 0 0.0375 moles uh, of our uh, sodium hydrogen carbonate. Now lastly we want to work out what's the mass so we need, just need to have a look at well, what's the molar mass. Uh, so sodium is uh, 23, we've got hydrogen is 1, uh, carbon is 12 uh, and oxygen we've got uh, 3 of them so it's 3 times by 16. So the molar mass of sodium hydrogen carbon carbonate, so we've got 23 plus 1 plus 12 plus 3 times 16, and we get uh, 84. So finally, 0 0.075 times by 84. Uh, this is going to tell us the final mass. We are going to need... Uh, 6.3 grams. That's our final answer.